supersized mom Shannon. I don't feel sexy at all. Is super stressed. I'm gonna give you breakfast in a minute, okay? My mornings are pretty hectic, trying to get myself ready. Mommy's gonna finish getting ready for work. Make sure they're fed and they're clean to get out the door. Brandon, we're late, hurry up. This thick set 30 year old is married to Mike. We've been together for eight years. She is a remarkable woman. She has two kids and despite appearances, isn't expecting a third. With my first child, I gained about 75 pounds. With Ryan, I was very careful with him. I gained only about 25 pounds. Be back on Friday. But this super mom sometimes feels like a single mom. See you later, babe, love you. It's hard with my husband. He works away or he works shift work. He's not around. More like ships passing in the night. Yeah. Shannon cooks and cleans and cleans and then cleans some more. She can't stop. There's always something to do. You know having anything? I'll eat as I go along, babe. I just want to finish doing these bottles and stuff. I put my kids first, and when Michael's home, I put him first. The only time we sit down and have a proper meal is when we go out for dinner. But there's always time for a brew. I drink a lot of coffee and tea throughout the day. I am always exhausted, but it doesn't mean I can stop. I blame myself for the fact that I've let my eating habits kind of get very poor. When we first met, she was very outgoing. The more I feel bad about the way I look, I had to pull back from him a little. I don't really care what she looks like. She's still my wife. I hope that I get a bit of my old self back. Nutritionist Jillian McKeith is a woman to make that dream come true. Like it or not, Shannon is on a collision course to change. Shannon, oh my God, where do you think you're going? I was going to work with this. Absolutely not. This is breakfast. It is this morning. Uh, you're gonna have to change your ways, lady. This is going. Wow. Jillian was not impressed with my morning coffee. I'm your boss. I'm in charge. You ain't going to work today. That's it. Follow uh -oh. me. Okay, here we go. What rubbish is in here, Shannon? How many bags of potato chips do you need? This is the week-long shop. It's just disgusting. I'm not happy with that a at little all. Treat. She was a lot tougher on me than I expected. Coffee, coffee. Oh my goodness, more coffee. How much coffee do you need? That's what gets me through the day. I need something with energy in it. It doesn't give her energy, it only saps it. Every single thing I've touched so far has added sugars and added chemicals. Vegetables. Okay. So you do cook then? I cook for my kids and my husband. I don't always have time to sit down and eat with them. So you're like the waitress then? Sometimes, yeah. While they're eating the meal, she's cleaning the house. When do you eat? I snack, I nibble. What? She just lives on very small amounts. I'm gonna show you exactly how little nourishment you give your body. Okay, Shannon, mm -hmm. this is nutritionally what you should be eating. That looks like a lot. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, uh -huh. dinner, and three snacks. I don't think I would eat that much in a whole day. This is what you are nutritionally eating. Wow, I was pretty shocking to actually see it on a plate. This is all I eat in a day. You're literally starving yourself. You will actually gain weight eating like this. I don't understand it, but I have. Because you've slowed down your metabolism to a trickle. To go from what I'm eating now to have to eat that much, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Now it's time to clean out that junk. Come on, let's go. Uh-oh. You're gonna dump everything into that bin that saps your energy. Can I keep some of the cookies? No. Let me help you, Shannon, because I don't oh. think you're going to do it on your own. What am I supposed to drink? You'll find out. The next couple of weeks are going to be a really big challenge for me. I don't know how I'm going to be able to give up my teas and coffees. Shannon has just eight weeks to eat herself sexy, and eat is the key word. I doubt she can remember the last time she sat down at a table and ate a well-balanced meal. I need to talk to that husband of hers and make sure that he's following my rules, too. Michael? Hi, I'm Gillian. How are you doing, Gillian? I'm fine. Yeah, How are you? I'm good. I want to make sure that you know what Shannon's getting involved with, because it's going to affect you quite a bit. And how's it going to affect me? Everything she eats is going to change. The way she thinks is going to change. Mm -hmm. So where does that leave you, Michael? Sounds like I'm going to be eating some rabbit food, yeah? There'll be no more cookies after hours. I mean, you have very limited taste buds because you're from Scotland, right? But you need to learn a thing or two. Michael's the right one, isn't he? You cannot eat junk food in front of Shannon. Agreed. Done. I'll be honest with you, I don't really think I will be able to give it up. Next thing, you will fill that pool with water so that Shannon can swim every day. I need Clean more water. hands. You're, you're welcome to help me out. Actually, he's got to get to it. No slacking off. Here's your hose. Get to work. You know what to do, and I'll be checking up on you, OK? 
Hubby Michael is fulfilling his promise, allowing Shannon to take the plunge. My energy levels are better than they were. I know I'm feeling better. Rejuvenated by her daily dips, she's ready to take on the world. Go. One small boy at a time. And the fun doesn't stop there. You're lucky, eh? The ultimate <laughs> role reversal. I don't know. Take my what boots off, shouldn't I? Pretty good. I think you should do this full time. OK, you can bring that away with us for our anniversary. This is disgusting, but it has to be done. Somebody's got to do it. And for once, it's not Shannon. Oh, boy. You're going to put an ad in the paper and start renting them out to our neighbours. You up for that, Michael? <laughs>